hello everyone it's the assignment to be to demonstration of the bn305 uh, vpn uh, here uh, with my friend tusarika and lokesh and tusarika is going to give the further demonstration on the video and our design um, hi everyone. So I'm going to show you our designs which we had prepared for the BN305. We are assigned to connect two different branches, one of the Sydney and one of the Adelaide with the main branch and make the and allow them all to assess, assess the VPN services. So I will share my screen shortly. So this is our design. This is our design, which, which shows that this is the Sydney branch and this is the Adelaide branch connected with the main branch, which is, uh, which is the main router uh, with the name of ISP. So the first thing is the basic configuration, which we all know to do. We need to give the IP addresses to all the ports which are present. So I had already configured this all uh, these all routers. So I will just uh, just do just show you the run show pipeline that shows startup. I'll just apply show startup config. So you can see uh, I had given the IP addresses to all the ports which has been provided. This is the first basic step which we need to follow if we need to do the configuration of the design. And the second thing is uh, to give the uh, give the route, which means uh, to provide the to address the packet where to transfer from one PC to another, what, which path he is going to follow, and to explain everything with this route. This route can be of two types: one is static, and one is uh, one is with the protocol. And we had used the protocol which is EIGRP, and this protocol will all automatically give route to all the IP addresses which are present. Uh, which are present in the router, and we don't need to specify each uh, each and every network. This is the only benefit of using the protocol. So the similarly, I had given the IP addresses to all the routers. Now I will be explaining how to can how to how to do IPsec tunneling, which is the basic part of this assignment. And to do uh, to create the VPN tunnel, there there are many many VPN tunnels. Like you can create. Um, I can show you by applying. config terminal, you can create interface tunnel and give the number one, and you can give the IP address, whatever you you like to give. And it will, sorry, I didn't give the subnet mask, my bad. But see, this is, this is how we created one tunnel, but it is without encryption. This, uh, this has the main disadvantage. You can see I had created tunnel one, which is network is up with the IP address this. And I can create the tunnel here also. And if whenever I will be pinging the devices, it will pass through this tunnel. But the drawback is it will be, it won't be, uh, it won't be encrypted. So for that reason, we had created IPsec VPN tunnel. It provides us encryption integration and confidentiality that our data will be secure so to create this we we need to we need to follow five steps number one acl we need to create um access list um i can show you that also we need to create access list which command is access list number 100 permit ip address IP address will be like if I need to create the air suppose here I need to create the VPN tunnel between Sydney and the Adelaide. So I need to focus on the IP address of the Sydney and the destination, which is Adelaide. So I will be providing, I will be providing I assess list 100 permit IP address from the Sydney router to the Adelaide one. I will provide the network of these with correspondence to their um, net mask, not the subnet mask. This is the difference here. So you can see 
0 0.0.0.255. 0 .0 this is the access list which I had been created in the Sydney. Same I will be doing in the Adelaide router. I will be creating the access list, but but the, now the uh, um, now the starting will be from the Adelaide Adelaide network uh, to the destination, which is the Sydney network. We will be just exchanging the digits. That's all on the Adelaide. The step two will be: I need to create ISAKMP policy, which is the phase one. This this is the startup of the encryption type. So in this, we had to follow some commands. I can I can show you the commands, but we, are, we won't be going step by step, but let me show you how to create it. it. So running config. See, this is, this is what I'm talking about. It is the ISAKMP uh, phase one. Phase one is basically uh, basically to create the authentication and tell which is the encryption type we are using. So first command is crypto ISAKMP policy number 10. I had given the number 10. It is not a particular digit. You can give any digit. Encryption AES-256. So I had, uh, I had asked to put the encryption type should be AES-256. The second thing is authentication and pre-shared key. This should be the same on both the routers. If it varies, uh, if it varies from one router to another, it won't be apply on each router. So you need to be very particular on it. And I had given F elements group number five. The next step is crypto ISAKMP key secret key address. The address will be the gateway. So our packet is going to travel from this network. So gateway will be the the head of the destination router so i had given the ip address this here we had completed the phase one now the phase two is ip ipsec transformation set now we are we are telling the router to pass through sydney and adelaide with the encryption type and what hash we need to provide so this command is used to do that transformation set now we are covering crypto map Crypto map has been covered here. Whatever the things we done before, we are just uh, we are just uh, again revising it into a paragraph, which is a crypto map. Crypto map is explaining everything. Then the last but not the least, this is the step to provide the interface. So we need to we need to provide the interface, which has been not shown here. I can show you after applying it to tell the router we have to pass from so we should do um interface this interface will be the interface where the packets start start delivering interface serial so here we have you can see here we have serial serial port which is zero slash one slash zero and i will give the um i will give the ip address to it which ip address it will be signing 192.168. Sorry, 160.12.2. And I will my bad. Now it's okay. So I will be giving the tunnel destination tunnel source to this. So tunnel source and tunnel destination will be provided with the tunnel IP addressing. And this this will this will make the configuration up. So now everything is being set up. You can check by pinging the one router to another router. You can see it will it should be successful. We hope it would be successful, but I don't know. you can do it again yeah 
so it's successful you can see it's, it's it is pinging with the router and we can see it will ping so when the packet is moving i can show you the simulation code even so this is the packet how it is traveling when we click on the packet we can see we can see the path we can see the path. Uh, here is the IP header, the, the IP address, and you can see it, it is encrypted. Now, now it is encrypted. This is the actual IP address, which is encrypted in the another header. And so hence it, it is it is just proving that we had created the successful um, tunneling. So that's all we had been creating here. I hope you guys understand what we had created. This is enough. Thank you so much. This was our design for uh, VPN tunneling. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.